In programming, we have a common data structure called stack, which resembles a stack of items in the real world. Imagine you have a stack of books. The last book that you put on top of the stack is the first book that you can remove. You refer to this behavior as LIFO, which is short for last in, first out. So this is a stack data structure, and it's very common in real world applications. A good example of that is your browser. Whenever you navigate to a new website, your browser keeps your browsing session in a stack. So when you click the back button, it takes you to the previous website. Let me show you how it works. So we start with an empty stack. Now let's say we navigate to website number one. Now here for simplicity, I'm using a number. If you're building a browser, instead of a number, we'll use a string, which is the address of the current website. Now let's say we navigate to a couple more websites and then click the back button. At this point, the browser removes the item on top of the stack, and then it will redirect us to the previous website. Now let's say we press the back button a couple more times, so we'll end up with an empty stack. At this point, the browser will disable the back button. This is how a stack works. Last in, first out. Now let me show you how to use a stack in Python. Basically, we can use a list object as a stack. So here I'm going to define a variable like browsing session and set it to an empty list. Now let's say the user navigates to website number one. So we call browsing session dot append method and add the address of the current website. Now let's say the user navigates to website number two and then three. Let's have a look at what we have in our stack. So we print it and as you see, we have a list of three items. Now, when the user presses the back button, we should remove the last item in this list, right? How do we do it? We use the pop method. So we call browsing session dot pop. This will remove the last item from the stack and return it. So we can get it here. But in this case, we're not going to use this value. Let me just print it on the terminal. So you can see that. So three is removed from the stack. Now, if we print our stack one more time, print browsing session, you can see three is removed and we have only two items in our stack. So we need to take the user to the previous website, which is the item on top of the stack. And we can get that using a negative one index. Very easy. So back here, browsing session of negative one, this returns the last item. So we print it. And I would like to add just a label for clarity, redirect. Let's look at the result. So when the user presses the back button, we redirect them to the previous website, which is website number two. Now here we need to check if the stack is empty or not. If it becomes empty, we need to disable the back button. So that is very easy. Earlier in the course, I told you about the falsy values. So number zero, an empty string, an empty list, these are all falsy values. So if you apply the not operator to an empty list, we'll get the Boolean true. So to see if our stack is empty, we can simply write code like this. If not browsing session, then at this point we will disable the back button. So let me recap. We use the append method to add an item on top of the stack. We use pop to remove the item on top of the stack. We use index negative one to get the item on top of the stack. And of course, before doing that, we need to check to see if our stack is empty or not, because if it's empty, when we run this code, we'll get an error. So if not browsing session, then we'll get the item on top of the stack. These are the operations that you can perform on stacks. Hi guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. My name is Mosh Hamadani and I have tons of tutorials like this for you on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and also please like and share this video. If you want to learn Python properly from scratch with depth, I have a comprehensive Python tutorial for you. The link is below this video. So click the link to get started. Thank you and have a fantastic day.